So have you always had, I mean, obviously a lot came from your dad. Have you always had the mindset of just, I'm just going to go in and do it? Is it always positive or tell, talk to us about the, the negativity or the negative thoughts? Because I get, I get barraged with negative thoughts sometimes. I think we all do. Like you, you start doing something, you're like, all right, I know I could do this, but then the doubt starts to set in. It happened. You know, at a young age, I think after that moment with my dad in the basement, like I understood, it's almost like it was a wake up call to tell me like in life, it's not going to be always easy. But if you really want it, if you really want to do this, uh, you know, you can do it. So uh, you're just going to have to go through some some things. And obviously, um, after I started having some success, you know, with the team and playing as a goalie right away, one of the parents came up and said to my dad, oh, my son is really good playing in the driveway goalie. You should put him in. So they, almost like jealousy from some other parents yeah. that, you know, a girl cannot be like that great. Like if she can do this, my son's going to be better. And I remember my dad telling me like, um, I know next game you're not playing goalie, you're going to play out. And I said, why? And he said, because one of the other player wants to play goalie. And I'm like, okay, now, now that I'm doing well, I yeah. kids wants to play goalie. And before, nobody wanted to play goalie. And my dad said to me, you know what? Just trust me on that. And sure enough, um, we went into the game and we lost like 13 to 3. Like it was oh, like gosh. the first four of the year. And after that game, all the parents came up to my dad. It's like, your daughter has to be back in that. And again, like he knew that. Yeah. We needed to prove a point. And for me, when I saw that, I understand what he was doing. So instead of having like a negative um, mindset, when I was facing those, I started understanding that sometimes you do things uh, to prove a point. And as I got, you know, to play more and more and having more success, all the kids were trying out for the doubly level, which was a top level at that time. So I'm like, said to my dad, I want to try out too. Right. And uh, my dad said, yes, I'll sign you up. And they told my dad, don't bring your daughter. We're not going to take a girl. But my dad never said to me that, that they would not pick me. And he let me try out. So he didn't so tell I, you that he, he didn't tell you that they weren't going to pick a girl. No, or that they, they wouldn't tell me. And he loved me. Yeah. And he knew that I'm going to be crying and be disappointed, but didn't tell me. And I have to say, it's probably the reason why I made it to where I made it. Because after that time, I did the tryouts, I got caught, I was sad, I was disappointed. Uh, but right away the next day, I asked my dad to come down in the basement and she pots at me and signed me up for hockey school. And when he saw that shift of when I got the disappointment, yeah. that was like a challenge and become a challenge for me to prove people wrong. Um, you know, the following year when I asked to go tryouts and he knew again that was the same people, they would not pick me. He still let me go. Let you go. It. But and that's so important though. I mean, I feel it, like we protect, I mean, I'm, a, I'm very anti-protect. Like we protect kids. A yeah. lot of people do too much now. And, and you know, my daughter does martial arts. And so she'll, you know, we've, we've been in class before and he'll pair her with a, a guy to start sparring. And, you know, there was one time this kid, a teenager older than her, a boy, he's like, do you, you know, do you want me to go light? It would kick you light or whatever. And she's like, whatever i mean and she beat the squad out of them it was just people just assume that we, we need to be dainty and protect people it, males and females too i just see so many parents not doing what your dad did and i love the fact that he did that i know and i think back then we were in a different time and i think like you know especially when you grew up and you know i was working when i was 11 years old like scoring at a baseball field because we had to you know yeah. and today like we, we have kids and we try to do as much as we can for our kids, you know, yeah. we're, we're in a different time and sometimes some parents are trying, trying to protect their kids and they don't want them to be cut from a team. They yeah. don't want them to be sit on the bench for the last ship of a game. Um, you know, I run a girls program right now and sometimes I would get phone call, you know, my daughter didn't play for the last five minutes of the game and, and like they're all upset about that and what I told them, it's like, you know what? It, it is okay, you know, and it's okay yeah. for your daughter to be upset. Because she, if she's not upset, that means that doesn't mean anything to her. Right. But I have her ask herself why she did not get picked for the last five minutes of the game. And when you, you change, like when you look at things, when you face an adversity or when someone cut me from the team, I was thinking I was not good enough. So I did something about it. I work harder. So right. I got cut four years in a row. Oh, wow. And until 
the following year, the coach said, I don't care if it's a girl or boy, I'm going to take the two best goalie. But by that time, when I was the age fan camp, and not only made the team, but I become the number one goalie in the team because for four years in a row, I did yeah. so much more than kids that got into the double level, you know, right away. Uh, didn't think that they thought they were good enough and they, they didn't have to do extra. I did extra right. for four years in a row. So by the time I got there, like I, I had a step ahead on other people. And that's why I tried to tell the parents that I coach or the girls that I coach when they're facing something, they're not happy.